The empirical formula is the simplest ratio of atoms in a compound. In the exam, you'll know it's an empirical formula question because it will have the word formula and it will give you the masses of the number of compounds in it. It will also give you the masses from the periodic table. So, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. You write the symbols of the elements at the top and underneath them, you write the mass in grams from the question. You then divide them by the atomic mass from the periodic table. This will be given to you in the question. So, 52 grams of carbon divided by 12, 13 grams of hydrogen divided by 1, 34.8 grams of oxygen divided by 16. If you need to know this, you are calculating the number of moles. If you don't need to understand moles to be able to do the calculation, you're going to end up with three numbers. So, three separate sums gives you three numbers. The reason this one is highlighted is because in the next step, you've got to divide each one by the smallest to turn it into a whole number ratio. So you find the smallest number and you do 4.35 divided by the smallest number, 13.0 divided by the smallest number and 2.175 divided by the smallest number. There are the sums there. That gives us 2, 6 and 1. Okay, so at the end of the carbon column we have a 2, at the end of the hydrogen column we have a 6, and at the end of the oxygen column we have a 1. To get the final mark in the exam, you have to turn it into a chemical formula. Okay, so we've got 2, 6 and 1, and we have to write it out properly to get the last mark. C2H6O1. You can write the 1 in, you won't lose the mark, or you can leave it out. So 2 at the end of the carbon column, 6 at the H, 1 at the end of the oxygen. So, mass in grams divided by atomic mass. Get the answer. Do it for all the elements in the compound. Take the answers, divide each by the smallest, and you will end up with a nice set of whole numbers. Don't forget to write the formula out for the last mark.